So the Promising Futures Fund works with the schools in Sioux Falls with the highest rates of poverty. Kids in the middle schools that are playing football. It was a great day. Um, I was fortunate enough to be there from the beginning to the end. Um, hearing them come off the bus, they were they were so excited. They they ran in they ran into the the Denny and they met cheerleaders and mascots and coaches, and they got to talk to our athletic trainer. Um, so it was it was very cool experience. There was a ton of giggles, um, lots of high fives, lots of. You know, um, a lot of them going back and forth and, and kind of, you know, giving each other a little bit of grief. It, it was a great, it was a ton of fun. Nice. Oh, there oh, we go. Good. Hey, we got hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work. Um, roughly 47% of the kids in the Sioux Falls School District come from poverty. It was unbelievable to me. It was like, and I couldn't believe it, it was 47%. Really? And he handed me a list of schools and I was shocked that I had gone to several of them. So I instantly was like, we have to get involved. Uh, we're very excited to let you know you're going to get gift cards to buy new cleats for the upcoming season. We can have these kids come. They can do a camp with professional athletes, coaches that, that are phenomenal at their jobs. And then afterwards, go give them a fun experience out at the Air Madness give them a great supper, and then have them come back to a professional football game. It was so exciting for us to be able to be able to do a little part um, and hopefully making an impact on this kids' day. The fact that the, the, the leadership of the storm took the time and, and called in some favors from their supporters uh, to provide free cleats for all of these football players in the middle schools was a big deal. Bye. The Storm team really took the opportunity to give a lot of love and attention to these kids and it's going to be impactful for these kids for the rest of their lives.